Hello everyone, welcome back to Infigyan. In this video, we will be solving another very very interesting question from radical equations. Our equation is x equal to 1 plus 2 times cube root of 2 times cube root of x plus 1. And we will be solving for real values of x. So let's get started. I will take this 1 to the LHS. So I can write x minus 1 equal to 2 times cube root of 2 times cube root of x plus 1. Now we will consider cubing both sides. So I will write power 3. Here also power 3 and power 3. So cube root and cube will be over from RHS. Now we know that 2 cube is 8. So we will write 8 times 2 cube root x plus 1. LHS is x minus 1 whole cube. Or we can write 8 times 2 is 16 cube root of x plus 8 times 1, 8. This will be equal to x minus 1 whole cube. Now we will take this plus 8 to the LHS. So we will get x minus 1 whole cube minus 8 equal to 16 times cube root of x. Let's write the equation here. x minus 1 whole cube minus 8 equal to 16 times cube root of x. Now we will consider our substitution. Let us take x minus 1 equal to m. So I can write the value of x from here m plus 1 which we will apply here. So LHS will give us m cube minus 8 and RHS will become 16 times cube root of x is m plus 1. So m plus 1. Now we will factor 16. So we can write 8 times 2 and 2 we can write cube root of 8. Then we have cube root of m plus 1. Now I will club these two radicals. So we will get 8 times cube root of 8 times m plus 1. And our LHS is m cube minus 8. Let us write our equation here. So m cube minus 8 will be equal to 8 times cube root of 8m plus 8. Now we will use another substitution here. Let's say this radicand equal to n cube. So that cube root and cube will be over. So I can write substitution equation 8m plus 8 equal to n cube or I can write n cube minus 8 equal to 8m. Let's say equation 1. Now after substitution our equation will become m cube minus 8 equal to 8 times cube root of n cube. So cube root and cube will be over we will get our second equation m cube minus 8 equal to 8n. Let's say equation number 2. Now I will consider both the equations. So I will write our equation 1 here n cube minus 8 equal to 8m. This is equation 1. Now we will subtract equation 1 from equation 2. So sign will change plus and minus 8 will be over. We will get m cube minus n cube equal to 8 times n minus m. Let us write our equation here. m cube 
माइनस एन क्यूब इक्वल टू एट टाइम्स एन माइनस एम और वी कैन राइट माइनस एट टाइम्स एम माइनस एन नाउ वी विल टेक ऑल द टर्म्स टू एल एच एस सो वी विल गेट एम क्यूब माइनस एन क्यूब प्लस एट टाइम्स एम माइनस एन इक्वल टू जीरो Now we can use algebraic formula here. The difference of two cubes. So we can write m minus n times m square plus m n plus n square. Then we have eight times m minus n equal to zero. Now m minus n, m minus n, we will take common out. So m minus n times now we will write both the terms left here it is so from this equation we can write either m minus n equal to 0 or m square plus mn plus n square plus 8 will be equal to 0 so from this equation m minus n equal to 0 we will get m equal to n and from this quadratic equation i will write m square plus mn plus n square equal to negative 8 let's solve this equation here so i will write m square plus mn plus n square equal to negative 8 now i will multiply both sides by 4 so we will write here times 4 and this side also will multiply with 4 so lhs will become 4m square plus 4mn plus 4n square and rhs will be minus 32 now we can split 4n square as n square plus 3n square so we'll be writing 4m square plus 4mn plus n square And then three n square equal to negative thirty two. Now from these three terms, we can write this is two m plus n whole square. Then we have three n square, and right hand side is negative thirty two. So in LHS, here is sum of two squares. which will be always positive for real solutions and rhs is negative so we will get complex solutions so this part we will reject as we are looking for real only now i will consider our equation m equal to n let us put m equal to n to our cubic equation equation was m cube minus 8 Equal to eight n. Now we will apply m equal to n or n equal to m. So here I will put n equal to m. So m cube minus eight equal to eight m. Or m cube minus eight m minus eight equal to zero. now equation is cubic we can use method of factorization we can split minus 8 as minus 4 plus minus 4 so we will be writing m cube minus 4m minus 4m minus 8 equal to 0 now from first two terms m is looking common so m square minus 4 will be left from last two we will take minus 4 common out We'll get m plus two in the bracket equal to zero. So I can write here m times. Let's apply difference of two squares formula. M plus two times m minus two minus four times m plus two equal to zero. Now m plus two is common. We will take m plus two common out in the bracket. We'll get m times m minus 2 minus 4 equal to 
so from here i can write m plus 2 and here we'll be getting m square minus 2m minus 4 equal to 0. So from here we'll be writing either m plus 2 will be 0 or m square minus 2m minus 4 equal to 0. Or I can write m square minus 2m equal to 4. Now I will add 1 to both sides, plus 1, plus 1. So LHS will be m minus 1 whole square and RHS is 5. Now we will take a square root both sides. We will get m minus 1 equal to plus minus a square root 5. Now we will add 1 to both sides. We will get m value as 1 plus minus square root 5. And from this equation, we will be getting m equal to negative 2. So I can write here overall solutions m equal to negative 2 and 1 plus minus square root 5. Now m was our substitution m was x minus 1. So I will write x minus 1 equal to minus 2 and 1 plus minus the square root 5. Now we will add 1 to both sides. So x will become 1 minus 2 minus 1. 1 plus 1 plus minus root 5. So I will write 2 plus minus square root 5. So we have overall three solutions and all three are real valued. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Bye bye.